everybody and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's video is going to be a mix of a few things. We're going to have a slow cooker lamb recipe. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to say. So we're going to have that recipe. We're going to have some new home decor updates, you guys. I'm so excited about those. As well as a bit of a haul. We have Bath & Body Works and I think a few things from TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby as well. I'm going to go ahead and get into the Bath & Body Works stuff first because it's the majority of the haul. I want to say hello and welcome if you are new here. My name is Jazz. I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, a little bit of beauty every now and again. Beauty been lacking, but I'm going to be working on it pretty, pretty soon, guys. I promise. I'm, I promise I'm going to get back to it. I'm just <clears throat> struggling. I want to say thank you again so much, you guys, for coming in. I do really appreciate you guys. I post on Mondays at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And hopefully here pretty soon I'll get back to my normal format of Monday and Friday at 4.30. But that's a little slow coming. So hopefully sooner than later. I want to say welcome back to my returning subscribers and returning family. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all your support and your love and your kind words. You have been the biggest boost. I truly appreciate you guys. It's been slow it's been rough trying to adjust to our new normal but you guys keep me going you guys keep coming in and commenting and and just lifting my spirit so i really appreciate y'all so much so thank you thank you and thank you so much so for this bath and body work haul, you guys i got candles and i also got some fragrances or some scents because i've been wanting to switch up my perfume here a bit and so i went and got a whole lot of stuff so we went on a day where they were having the um half price on the candles and they were doing buy one, get one free on all the fragrances. So I got a bag of fragrances here. I'm gonna put this down and get this other thing out because I bought like six candles. There it is. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to try some different smells, some different candle scents this year, as I didn't have any or didn't have a lot last year. I bought some a few years back, and the one that I, that I bought that I really, really liked, you guys, was like that year only. It was like, I guess I did a collection every year, so it was a part of that collection, but they haven't put it out again. So I tried to find things that were really close to that candle. So the first candle I'm going to show you guys is this one. This is pumpkin vanilla creme. It's just scented with a, made with essential oils. And I'm trying to figure out the smells. It said creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, graham cracker crust with natural essential oils. And it smells really warm and creamy. This is what the inside of it looks like. I also like how this jar looks. I think it's really pretty. So this is the first one. Again, I thought all of these cost $12, but I really like the smell of this one. The next candle was actually one of my favorites for this year, and it is this one right here. This is the Salted Butterscotch. You guys saw this one in my last video. I bought it, I burned it, I loved it. So I actually went back and picked up two of these. So the Salted Butterscotch has warm brown sugar, sweet cream, a pinch of sea salt, melted butter with natural essential oils. It smells like you went into like a bakery, but they only making desserts. That's what it smells like. It smells warm and fuzzy like cakes and caramel. I love it. This is what the inside of it looks like, you guys. I just love the smell of it. It's so warm and inviting and kind of cozy. This is what the jar looks like, you guys. I love the lids on these too. I just think these are so nice. I picked up two of these, so this is another one because I knew I liked this scent. I wasn't sure about the others, but I knew I liked the salted butterscotch. So I went ahead and picked up two more of these. The next candle we have is pumpkin cupcake. Now this one I'm not sure about, but hopefully it, it smells really good. I almost said taste. Hopefully it smells really good as well when it's burning. It's usually a different scent once you start to actually burn the candle. It's like a little bit warmer. Um, a little bit fuller and since these are the Bath and Body Works candle they they do waft out quite a bit into the house. This one didn't smell bad. I was being very careful not to get things that have really strong scents because my husband he just doesn't do well with some of the stronger scents. He did actually pick up a vanilla bean candle for his office. He loved the smell of it. So this one has whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, freshly baked cupcake with natural essential oils and the lid on this one is really pretty too. But I just like how the, the candles come in these really nice glass jars. I do have to be a little bit more careful with them on the countertops, especially with a little one. But I love these candles and I love that they have such a strong, warm scent. So pumpkin and cupcake is the next candle. 
This candle here is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, has the same lid as the Pumpkin Cupcake Candle. This one has Luscious Caramel, Ground Cinnamon, Rich Brown Sugar, Creamy Vanilla, and Essential Oils. And it smells really good too, but it has a heavier note of like, like a cinnamon. Yeah, a heavier note of cinnamon in there. So I'm really thinking this is gonna smell more like a cinnamon roll or something like that. Cause I'm really excited to just start burning different ones and seeing how they smell. And here is the final candle. This is a salted caramel old fashioned. And it says salt, salt, salted caramel bourbon and orange peel. Back here says a drizzle of salted caramel special reserve bourbon, orange peel garnish with natural essential oils. I think this is a really pretty rich kind of a brown color. And the lid is the same, it just says white barn. This one, I don't know. This one smells more like a butterscotch candy to me. Um, and I like butterscotch as kids, so as a kid, so I don't think it's gonna be too bad. But I kind of just wanted to see how this one smelled. There was a lot of different scents that they had there, but I was kind of nervous about getting something that I disliked because I'm gonna burn it anyways. It don't smell good, I'll be sad. Um, but this one I'm kind of on the fence about. The rest of them I was really sure that I wanted to try at least. This one I wasn't so sure of, but hopefully it smells good. And you guys, if you wanna keep these jars after the candle burns down, you can. They make these pills really easy to come off. They're like, um, like a sticker, pretty much. They're not like ingrained in the jar or anything. So if you wanna keep these jars after, you can as well and use them for other things. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into some of these scents here. If I wanted to say this too, as a little disclaimer, if it looks like I'm glistening, you guys, I promise I'm not greasy. I'm just hot. I've been like moving around in the house and uh, we have the heat on. It's cool outside. It's like a really cool fall day out there. It's starting to rain again, um, but I am inside and we have the heat on <laughs> and I was moving around outside, so I have the sweater on. So now I'm just like getting toasty and sweaty. Anywho, moving into some of these scents, you guys. So I actually have a few of them in my closet already that I went and purchased before I got these. And I really like those. So that's why I wanted to go back and get some more. Here are all the fragrances that I picked up, you guys. And they were the full size ones. And it was like I said, buy one, get one free. And so I was trying to see if I could find the lotions to match some of them. But these all didn't have like a lotion, but this one did. So I went ahead and got the lotion for that one. So this one is called Fall in Bloom because I did have the fall fragrances out as well, you guys. This smelled so good. So it has fragrance notes, notes of juicy plums, wild blooms, and velvet moss. I feel like I'm trying to become more of an adult with my fragrances. So this is what that one looks like. This one is called Fairy Tale, and that's what this bottle here looks like. Fairy Tale has pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, bean, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And again, that's what that one looks like. And then this one is Midnight Amber Glow. And it has smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. This one is Poppy. It has fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugar rhubarb, and juicy pear. I remember that one. And then this final one is called Golden Hour Coast. This is what it looks like. Sunkiss, bergamot, golden pear, and radiant woods. And I bought the lotion for Golden Hour Coast. Before I get into the stuff here on the table, you guys, I did end up spending about $140 at Bath & Body Works for all of that stuff, which is actually pretty good since how the candles are normally like $25, $26, and I got six of them, and normally that would run you at $150 by itself, and I spent <laughs> less than that for everything. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the stuff here on this table beside me. So these two mugs here, because I really wanted to get some more fall mugs. You guys saw some of them in my fall home tour. They were on that tier tray and around that tier tray. All of those came from TJ Maxx. There's some more stuff here from TJ Maxx on the table, but I'll get to that when I get over there. So these cups here, this one says blessed and this one says thankful. These came from Hobby Lobby. Um, these are the fall, some of the fall colors that I really, really like. They were 
$7.99, but of course they were half price. So about six bucks for each can uh, each one of these coffee mugs here. Then these two coffee mugs here, or these two mugs, you can use them for whatever, it doesn't have to be coffee. Um, these two mugs, which you can gift to someone, came from the Target dollar spot. I thought they were really cute, and these are kind of like engraved, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think these are really, really pretty. And I got, like I said, from the Target dollar spot, it was $5 for both of these cups. This candle here, is white pumpkin one of my favorite um social media or youtubers mentioned this candle and i wanted to smell it and see what it smelled like and i actually like it a lot and she mentioned that they sell out really quick she was not kidding when i got there they had one so and they told me at the register these usually go so fast and so i was lucky to find one but it was 12.99 and it smells so good it's a natural soy made candle i'm trying to see if it has the scents on here nope it doesn't but i think this is a really big candle to you guys like this is much bigger than the bath and body works candles and it's 12.99 but I do really love the smell of it. I also love the jar. Again, glass jar, and you can peel this stuff off. This Ray Dunn like tumbler insulated stainless steel cup here that says it's fall, y'all. It also came from TJ Maxx. It was $14.99. I just thought it was cute. And since I've been making my coffee at home lately, I thought it'd be a good idea just to have a few of these to take them when I go places when I'm getting in the car. And that way I don't spill. Um, it has like a little slidey lid. I think is neat but i really really like this tumbler and the final thing i got from tj maxx are these two mugs you guys you, you know i love charlie brown especially when it comes to the season changing i always watch a charlie brown special so here is a little snoopy cup it says hello pumpkin this one was $5.99 and the hello pumpkin is on this side and it has snoopy on the front and then there's another one with snoopy and on the back it says it's fall y'all but I really like these two candles. I think, uh, candles. <laughs> I really like these two mugs. I'll probably use them myself. I'm not gonna give these away because I just, I love peanuts. I love Charlie Brown, I love the Peanuts gang. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep these for myself. So I thought they were just so cute and I went back and forth on buying them, but I'm glad I ultimately went ahead and purchased these. Yeah, so I wanna show you some of the home updates uh, that I've been trying to make, I guess, little bit by little bit. Um, so basically I ordered some chairs for the front porch area and I ordered them almost two weeks ago, but I didn't read the print as good as I should have. And I thought I said chairs, it was chair. So one came, I'm like, why is there one box out here? Should we do? And it was only one chair. So I'm show you the one chair cause the second one just got here. I'm going to put it together and we're going to put them out there on the front porch. So here is the rocking chair excuse everything over in the background guys um so here's the rocking chair um the second one just got here it's on the front step i think so yeah here is what they look like i'm gonna assemble the second one very easy took me like 30 minutes um but yeah front porch decor ta-da Alrighty guys, so I have finished assembling the set here. Yay! I was gonna put them outside today, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait because it has started raining really hard. And I don't think it's a good time to put wooden rocking chairs out there. Even though they probably wouldn't get wet, still I don't think I'm gonna put them out there today. Alrighty you guys, so I will come back once I get them set up outside and everything and show you what they look like then. So here are the rocking chairs out here on the porch. Let me take a step back. I think they look so cute sitting out here with all of my fall decor. I do want to get a little table for right there in the middle probably. I think that'll look nice. I should find a table that I think goes well with these two rocker chairs. But I really like these chairs. I think they are so pretty and they are extremely comfortable. My husband and I have already sat in them and we're just rocking in the house. So here are my two rocking chairs. Go. Easy. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get.
get into this crock pot leg of lamb. I do have all of my ingredients sitting right here next to me. I will talk you guys through them. And if you need specific measurements for anything, it will be listed. Ooh, there it is. Listed in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. And then let's put this lamb into the slow cooker. So here is everything that you are going to need. This is some chicken broth. I was looking for the beef broth, but I did not find my beef broth. But any broth would do just fine. So I have chicken broth here. I have my bowl of seasonings that I'm going to be using. I have one whole diced onion and some carrots because we don't use as many or we don't eat as many carrots. And the reason why I'm not using potatoes is because I'm going to make a mash. But in this bowl of seasoning here, you guys, we have garlic, garlic salt, <laughs> onion powder, um, some beef bouillon, the, they usually come in a cube, but they have the actual little seasoning that's already gra uh, ground down. We have some salt, some pepper, some oregano, and uh, some basil. Like I said, I will link, not link, I will leave all of the measurements in the description box below. And then of course you need your leg of lamb. Mine is sitting over in the sink right now um, because I don't want it to be everywhere. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start putting everything together. So now we're gonna go ahead and start preparing this lamb. I'm gonna go and start adding in the seasoning. Now I put the seasoning around the lamb towards the bottom of the crock pot because I didn't do like the rub on the lamb that I would normally do. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my onions. You guys, this is one full onion. They were medium sized white onions, not too big, not too small. I showed them in a haul. So if you guys wanna go look at that, you can see exactly how big this onion was. It was the larger of the three that I purchased. I'm gonna go ahead and put that whole onion in there, you guys. We actually really like onions, so I used an entire onion. Then I'm going in with the carrots. As I mentioned before, we don't eat as as much carrot in anything like our roast or anything we eat them more plain and by themselves than we do actually in our food so I didn't use as many of those and then I'm going to go back in with the rest of that seasoning this time I'm going to put the seasoning on top of the lamb as well as on the vegetables now you can stir this around if you can but because this lamb was kind of big I couldn't or I didn't have enough space to stir around there when I put the chicken broth in. So you guys, this is about two cups of chicken broth. You can use beef if you like, that's what I was looking for, but I could not find my beef broth for whatever reason, but the chicken did just fine, you guys. And then after I'm done putting the chicken stock in, or the chicken broth in, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put that lid on. The reason why I put the seasoning on top as well, because I want it to kind of seep in as it steams. And I'm gonna cook this on low, you guys, low and slow all day, for eight to 10 hours, and I actually ended up cooking it for 10. Okay, you guys, so that's gonna cook low and slow for about eight to 10 hours. I wanna cook it until it's as tender as it can be and it's kind of pulling apart with a fork. I will show you guys what that looks like once it's done cooking later on. A few moments later. All right, you guys, it has been seven hours, not seven hours, I'm tripping, 10 hours. I'm just going to put a fork in there, right? And just twist. See how it comes apart? Yeah, that's what you want right there. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and have some dinner. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.